Right, folks, the new recipe, which I'm going to make now, I don't have a new name for it. It's an old name. It's called Bhuna Jhinga, which literally means barbecued or roasted prawn. But there's a twist to it. I really don't want a simple, straightforward barbecue today. Certainly, the weather is not dictating that. And you would know it because we are all indoors. So far, you have seen me cook on my own. And once in a while, poor Dan, he gets dragged in. But he cooks and I talk. But I just thought enough is enough. I should bring in some more people to be with me and be here. But guess what? This hunt didn't go on for very long. I found two lovely, lovely people. You will really like them. The cutest couple of this era. Let's bring them in. Rishi and Manrina. Welcome, Thank guys. You. Hi. Thank you. So <laughs> good to have you here. Thank you for having so us. So excited to be here. Oh, when did you come back from the honeymoon? Tell us that. Just about six months ago. Really? Yeah. Six months ago we got married. You got married six months ago? Yeah. I was feeling, for some reason, I was under the impression that you got married just Recently. a week ago. Oh, it no. feels like that. Oh, yeah. 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 That's nice. That's nice. <laughs> then we, we kind of just like, you know, because our, our families are from Kenya together. Right. And so we're family friends. Then when we were like in our 20s, we kind of lost... Uh, touch. touch. She became like, you know, an amazing number one cosmetic dentist in the country. Absolutely. And I went and, you know, just done my thing in music. You became number one musician <laughs> in the country. And then we met up again, you know, two years ago. And I was just like, why aren't you married? And, you know, our families were so happy when we decided to get married. And, you know, it's, it's amazing because it's nice just to kind of finally find someone and still kind of focused on, you know, our careers as such. So guys, it looks like the rhythm we have picked up here, we would have to call this episode Rishi and Manrina Remix. <laughs> What do you think about it? Yes. Well, on that note, we should get cooking. For roasted prawns, following ingredients are going to need. Eight large prawns peeled with tail retained. For marinade, 100 grams of basil leaves, 50 grams of coriander leaves, 50 grams of mint leaves, one tablespoon of fine chopped green chili, one tablespoon of fine chopped ginger, salt to taste, one tablespoon of vegetable oil, and about two tablespoons of yogurt. To stir fry, one tablespoon vegetable oil, two heads of bok choy leaves, one teaspoon ginger fine chopped, one medium red onion thickly sliced, 20 manjthu cut lengthwise, five or six asparagus cut into batons, handful of mung bean shoots, 10, 12 coconut slices, one tablespoon light soy sauce, one tablespoon fish sauce, three, four tablespoons coconut milk, one pinch of sugar, 10 coriander sprigs, and then shredded basil leaves. So what I'm going to do, folks, is just to make a marinade, a quick one. Mm -hmm. I'm going to use these three herbs, okay? And I'm good at chopping, so I'll take that job. Yeah. <laughs> okay? And just a rough chopping, actually. It's quite fast, actually. Amazing, yeah. Okay, so that's done. That's mint, sorry, coriander. And this is basil, Thai basil. So we'll take that as well quickly. And mint as well, a little bit of mint, not too much, because I want basil to shine through. Okay? So Rishi doesn't cut at home. That's the one thing he doesn't do because of his hands is so yeah. important. Absolutely. Yeah, you don't. I did try once and so you don't <laughs> you don't you don't cut things. He doesn't cut yeah. anything. It's, I always come and cut it even if he's cooking. I think hands are important for everyone. They are very important for everyone, but <laughs> yeah. he's, he's particularly yeah, talented. But, you <laughs> know, <laughs> it's very important for me to kind of... Sure, I'm, I'm joking. Yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't know what I'll do without my hands. No, yeah. of course, all of us, yeah. Right, so, we got that. Dash of lime, just about half a lime. So, in if I was in Far East, I would use another type of lime called kafir lime, mm -hmm. uh, which is a very fluorescent, ah, fluorescent, what I'm talking, very fragrant, I mean. Chilies. Mm. And it's quite fluid. Chilies. Lime is a fluorescent colour as well. Yeah. <laughs> it is indeed. That's what I meant. You got me right. <laughs> Some ginger and salt. Okay. And we'll take some yogurt. Day. Day. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. And a little bit of oil. Just about a tablespoon and a half would do. We'll mix it all together. It's a kind of mm. chunky marinade, yeah? Mm. It's yummy. Rustic. Rustic, absolutely. <laughs> and I have one of the doctor's gloves. Ah. Or dentist. 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dentist. Absolutely, absolutely. And we'll, we have a line tray here. And we'll just drop the prawns in there, all three of them. With the tails, you do? With the tails? Yeah. Mm. I would have preferred to keep the head as well, but I wasn't sure if I'll scare Manrina with that. So <laughs> I got rid of the head. And it's really simple, straightforward. You keep them marinated if you can for a good 15, 20 minutes, I would say. And then just put them there. It's quite big prawns, actually. They're massive. They're yeah. wonderful. They're massive. So we get even bigger than these. Mm -hmm. uh, not trying to show off, but just the, the kind of quality of produce we have started getting into this country is amazing. Yeah. yeah. Actually, the part of the uh, world where your family comes from, Kenya, mm -hmm. you get some beautiful prawns in that part of the world. So, guys, I'm just going to put this yes. in the oven while we keep talking. And I'll give you a spatula. Yes. And I will be throwing the vegetables in? Yes, and I'm going to mix them. And you're going to mix them for okay. me, please, okay? Lovely. Cooking in a sari. Cooking in a sari. at home all the time. <laughs> there you go. Right, so let's make the stir fry while the prawns are getting cooked. Okay. And we'll go at a leisurely pace, where a stir fry should be done very quickly. But here we'll go slowly because we've got so much to catch on with you guys. Mm. <laughs> it's about a tablespoon and a half of oil. Mm -hmm. And I always use vegetable oil because one of the basics uh, of cooking is you have to use the oil to extract the flavors. Right. Okay, if you don't extract the flavors properly, then your food isn't going to taste good. Because mm. we always use olive oil at home, so perhaps I need to start using vegetables. Uh, olive oil is great, don't get me wrong. Mm. Uh, but what happens, especially when you cook with spices, mm. uh, you shouldn't cook with extra virgin olive oil oh, because you're see? wasting it, ah. really. Extra virgin olive oil is good for putting in salads or maybe frying the fish, perhaps, yeah. because you need lower temperature. In our cooking, uh, each and every spice has got an essential oil. So you need the temperature of the oil to be really high so you can extract the essential oil into the neutral oil and then carry the flavor through. It's okay? very interesting. So that's what we are doing, just very little heat, not too much. And we'll start with ginger. Lots of ginger because mm. it's a stir fry. Yep. Go on. Start stirring. Start stirring. Some chilies. Yes, we love chili. Mm. Perfect. Oh, there you go. Ah, there you yeah. go. Put it, Put it in. It's good for your metabolic rate. There you go. Doctors, doctors telling you, there not you an go. apple, but the chili. <laughs> That's it. Okay, sort it, sort it, sort it. Just spread it out a bit. Spread it out. Okay, and the vegetables I'm going to use, I've just picked them at random. Yeah. But you should mix hard and soft vegetables. Okay. So we got some onion, carrot, uh, carrots, and asparagus, uh, mung beans, uh, mung too, and some bok choy leaves. Okay. Wow. Mm. So we'll start with carrots and onion. Should I constantly be stirring? Yes, please. Yeah. Stirring is good. Yes. As far as cooking goes. Yes. Not beyond. No. Keep stirring from well, top to well. bottom. Yeah. A pinch of salt can go in okay. just because we've just added onion. Yes. So what what happens when you add a pinch of salt, especially to the vegetables? Yeah. Uh, they get cooked at a faster pace. Oh, really? Because salt helps to draw the moisture out. Right. Especially in the case of onions, if you're cooking, if you cook a lot of Indian food at home. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, we Indians, basically, uh, or at least Indian subcontinent people, yeah. we cook a lot with onions and we sort onions to a certain color to get a desired color of our sauces. And if onions take very long time, it gets very boring. Fine. Whereas if you add salt, it just quickens the process a bit. Okay, that's good. Uh, okay. From here, we'll add manjtu and some of the bean sprout. I'll hold some back. We love bean sprouts yeah. as well, yeah. That's healthy. Yeah. Very nice. Because we don't eat too much uh, pasta, mm -hmm. so it, as an alternative to rice or pasta, bean sprouts are quite nice. Really? They're still quite filling and yeah. feels like... Yeah. Perfect, <laughs> perfect. Some coconut. That's unusual, coconut. Yes. Mm. So the good way to do it, can I yes. just show you yes. quickly? Yes, The best is to just go quickly. Ah, oh, fine. And then just turn it slowly. Ah. So you have to just turn it from one way to other. See, no one teaches you how to stir. Exactly. It, it, it's it's inherent human nature. We all know how to stir. Yeah. <laughs> My wife tells me that. <laughs> oh, I'll get beating at home today. Right, so at that stage, we'll add some of bok choy leaves and we've got some mint chopped, sorry, chopped basil as well in there. Amazing. I'll add, hold on to a couple of those. Yes. As soon as it starts wilting, Yes. We can add the sauces, pinch of salt, pinch of sugar. Right. 
we find that way we can eat a lot, but still stay quite lean. Okay. Um, so we replace it quite often. We look for replacements like bean sprouts or lettuce. And so I'll get the mini lettuce, uh, like mini lettuce gems, and then we'll use a lettuce leaf. Like chili make, chicken and yeah, that and use it as, a, as naan or yeah. as a wrap. Fantastic. Sounds yeah. very, very good. Yeah. What I added just now while you were talking was yeah. some fish sauce and soy sauce. Okay, and I, I always use dark mm. soy sauce. I like that. Uh, I had not added a pinch of sugar, so that goes in. So how okay. much of the soy sauce and fish sauce do you I add? did about a tablespoon of each. Right. Okay, uh, another pinch of salt as well. Uh -huh. And coconut milk goes in now, okay? Very little, not too much. Mm. Now mix it mm. really well. Stir it. Uh, Fast. Uh, I know, I'm worried it's gonna like overflow. <laughs> oh, it's I'm under pressure. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, they're calling you for Master Chef now. I know. Yeah. <laughs> Much easier to do. My parents feelings. are watching as well, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> Our whole family's going to be watching. I'm just going to add a little bit of coriander sprigs as well. Actually, that's the worst. I have my in-laws watching this <laughs> and judging my cooking. And I always say, cook, let's see, as a joke, when we got married. Yeah. Now they can really see. So, <laughs> yeah. Here we go. Mm. The prawns are ready, guys. Looks amazing. Wow. It smells amazing. Beautiful. Looks nice. Looks amazing. Now, one trick. As soon as you you have taken stuff out of the oven, the meat, especially it. the meat, eat it is one thing, <laughs> and always squeeze a little lime on top. Of course. Ah. It basically just does some magical transformation and the flavors come about. And this is also pretty much ready. So let's plate this and get eating. Normally I would recap quickly, but you know what? We'll recap in a moment. Let's put the food first on the plate. Presentation is everything, isn't it? <laughs> and the taste. And the taste, yeah. This is healthy stuff. Mm -hmm. So I hope you guys will like it. It looks amazing. And if it's good, it's all Manrina's doing. Uh -huh. <laughs> Thank you for the credit. And if it's bad, <laughs> it's what she's doing. <laughs> I'm sure it's going to be great. <laughs> I don't come in the picture at all. <laughs> okay, here we go. That was a great presentation. Right, we've got different textures of coconut in this dish and this is the last quenelle of coconut chutney. The recipe is on the website, you can follow that. Straightforward chutney, I'm not going to bore you with that. And I put some asparagus stroke coriander cress on top. Mix up those two and a little bit of pepper. Now what's left of it is to taste. And thankfully, I don't have to taste alone. I got my mates here to, <laughs> today with me. Lucky for us. <laughs> and here we go, folks. Okay. Right, guys, my producer said they can't eat till I recap. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> so I have to recap quickly. So first thing first, we had the prawns and I cut basil, coriander and mint leaves. Really chopped them finely and mixed that with ginger, salt, yogurt, oil and some chili and marinated the prawns with that. And we roasted the prawns in a hot oven at 180 degrees centigrade. And then for the stir fry, which I didn't make, Manrina was stunning, <laughs> uh, we added a tablespoon and a half of oil and we started with ginger and chili, sorted that first. We added some onions and carrots and uh, asparagus, added a pinch of salt to soften the onion. I added bean sprouts and manjtu with a pinch of salt, stirred it together, it's a quick process. And then we added bok choy, and then finish the cooking with fish sauce and soy sauce, a pinch of sugar and some coconut milk. Mix it all together, lay it all on the plate with fabulous coconut chutney and some coriander cress. And you've got two lovely people to taste them and say, it's great. Let's find out. Amazing. Okay, folks. Okay, come. Dig in. Cut it up. Right. Surgeon's hands. Absolutely. <laughs> no pressure. So you've got forceps, yeah? Yeah. It's great. Go on, Rishi. Dig in. Mmm. Very nice. Like it? 